That's crazy. That's super dope. Come look. That's wild. Oh my god. That's perfect. We're actually going on to set. It's a photo shoot day, and the talent is my beautiful girlfriend, which is always a pleasure to do a shoot with her. But today we're actually gonna do a spec shoot for a brand called Libre. Now, I always tell people it's smart to shoot the type of content you wanna get booked for. So that's kind of what we're doing today. So we're actually gonna head over to my studio. And yes, I know we have a lot to catch up on, but we're gonna head over to my studio today and you know, we'll just see you over there. Welcome to my studio. This is the Space OC. Uh, so yeah, during my whole hiatus, I did a lot of work, did a lot of different jobs, different gigs. I'll make a complete video about all of that. But uh, I was able to obtain the studio space. And yeah, this is a place that I call my own. Uh, give you guys like a quick little tour. Maybe I'll do a tour video one day. Um, but yeah, we have a cool little setup over here. Backdrops, bathroom. We got some lights. We got a backdrop set up, ironically, for today's shoot. We got the makeup vanity over here. You can see we have tons of brick. That is kind of like my favorite part of this entire space. Uh, yeah, we got a mirror here. We got some other props. There's me. Another section over here. We got exposed ducts and exposed ceiling. Yeah, so this place was a massive blessing, massive investment. Uh, also just a risk as a photographer, but it was something that I think I really needed to do. And it actually helps out in situations like this today where it's like I have an idea that I wanna accomplish, a shoot that I wanna do. And now I actually have some more that I can just pick up and go because it's my own. So yeah, super excited for today. Hi guys. What did I say? Hi guys, my name is Dulce and today I'm gonna be getting ready because we're gonna be doing some beauty shots for a brand called Libre. So um, yeah, come along with us and we're gonna take you guys along today's photo shoot. All right, so briefly before we get the shoot going, I actually wanted to show you guys what we're shooting with. So I'm gonna start out with the camera body, which I'm actually filming this video on right now, but as far as the photos go, we'll be shooting with the Canon R5. That is my go-to, that is my workhorse, that is my baby. I shoot all my YouTube content, even some social media video content with it, as well as all of my photography. If it's not on my X100V, it's on this thing, my R5. I've had it since 2020, this thing is a beast. It is a workhorse. Um, and I'm gonna be pairing it with the most versatile lens, my favorite lens, the Canon 24 to 70. Um, I love this lens, it's a 2.8. It's fast, it's quick, and I think 24 is wide enough uh, before you get to super, super wide uh, in these beauty fashion shoots. But today, since we're doing mostly beauty, um, I'll probably be at 35 and further, so probably like 70 mil. Um, and then also, if it permits, I'll probably be using my 70 to 200 as well to get those super, super close up detail shots, which I think we'll probably end up utilizing today. Uh, since it is beauty, you want to insinuate and show off the skin and highlight certain pieces of the face. And this lens definitely does that and it has a beautiful compression um, as well. So, and then just so you guys know, once I actually am shooting uh, the photos, you guys will be actually getting footage from my EOS R. So eventually I will be switching over um, and footage will be strictly coming out of the EOS R. And then also, we're gonna be playing around with a few filters. Um, I have a whole stack of them right here. This is from a company called, this is from a company called Prism Lens Effects. Absolutely love their stuff. Um, right now, I have the Dream Filter on this lens that you're looking at right now. We may utilize that today, we may not. Um, this one, I'm not gonna utilize, but I have a Streak Filter. I have a Split Diopter, may use that today. Um, starburst filter might use that as well because it it's, it basically blooms in starburst highlights 
and it looks absolutely incredible. I, I use it mostly in like my event photography and for uh, photography at my church. So when you have like a hot spot or a nice bright source, this thing will just basically starburst it out. And then the last filter that I'm pretty sure we will utilize is my kaleidoscope filter. Just to give you guys a little, like that thing looks sick. So we'll probably, probably utilize this today. Just gives you a really cool funky look. Like I use this a lot in like my music videos and like funky edits, cause it's something super different. Um, so yeah, might be utilizing that today. And we will be capturing, well, we will be tethering into Capture One. Tethering by far is probably the best way to shoot, especially when you're on location or in studio. You're seeing your product and you're seeing your photograph directly as you shoot it. And you also can apply effects and apply your color grade. So that way when you're shooting, your client is not just looking at the raw uh, base photo, basically. You can actually go in and make some fine tune adjustments, put a color grade on it, uh, make some adjustments. And as you shoot throughout the shoot, each photo will have that preset or that edit applied to every single photo until you change it to the next look. And I think that's pivotal in these types of shoots. And it's also a way that you can kind of upcharge and make yourself look a lot more professional on these types of shoots. So this will probably be my main key light, I will say. Uh, we're shooting with Godox SK400 twos. I have three of them. And with this modifier, we have the softbox with a grid on it. This is from Newer. Um, probably gonna be using this today. And once we put the mood boards up, I'll give you guys some shots of what the mood board kinda, kinda what the vibe is for what we're going for. Um, we're kinda just experimenting in a way today. But like I said, we have three of these SK4s. Um, and then we have these strip boxes on there also with grids. Um, probably gonna take these off, but who knows? It's all experimental today. And then definitely gonna be utilizing my two V flats that I have here on the white side and on the dark side, uh, camera cart right here, as you guys will see later on. And then we also have a 70 inch umbrella with a diffusion on there. The inside of that umbrella is white to give us some nice, clean, soft uh, images. But I think we're gonna go with some hard light today since it's beauty and it's like a brand uh, with actual products. So I think hard light is pretty cool. So we're gonna be experimenting. Then we're gonna be also shooting on this white backdrop just to have a clean look overall. And this is the mood board. This is what we are trying to accomplish today. So like I said, this is a beauty shoot today. So we got some really nice detail. I really love that and I really want to recreate that one. But yeah, really nice, tight, pretty beauty shots. I mean, that's why they call it beauty, because they're pretty. But yeah, really nice, intimate shots like this. So this is the vision for today. Let's get these lights set up. test out this light see what it's looking like so as you see we have my modifier right here with the grid and then I have a V flat right behind her so we're gonna see what this looks like like I said I had the 70 to 200 so let's just get a test see what this is looking like three two let me see you look at the light that looks pretty three two Still look at the light, I mean eyes just at the light, but face at me. Oh, yeah, three, two. Really pretty, really pretty. Three, two. Looking right here, three, two. Three, two. Three, two. Yeah, three, two. 
Let's just switch it up a little bit. Three, two. Oh yeah, nice. Three, two. Oh yeah, those look dope. Three, two. Three, two. Uh, maybe close your eye. Cause yeah. And maybe like do something like, yeah. Three, two, one more. Three, two. Three, two. Beautiful. That's super nice. All right, we're gonna do something I've never tried before. We're gonna take this kaleidoscope filter and put it on my 70 to 200. And let's see some of these results. Three, two. Look right at me. Three, two. Oh, one more, hold that. Three, two. Three, two. Oh, that looks sick. That one looks dope. Yeah, that one's so pretty. Yeah, that's fire. Let's get a few more. Three, two. Oh, that one might be it though. That's crazy. That's super dope. Come look. That's wild. Oh my God, that's perfect. You literally got the makeup perfect. Like you captured it so cool. Oh, that's sick, sick. All right, so those turned out pretty crazy. Not gonna lie, that's my first time ever using the kaleidoscope filter for something like that. That's really? that's wild. So that yeah, was dope. So we're gonna move on and try to do something with more hard light. That was more like soft glam beauty light. Um, but this is my, my my favorite. It's like hard light. It's just super contrasty, super sharp. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try some stuff like that. So I'm gonna get that set up. So as you guys can see, I'm using the same exact light. Uh, but I put a barn door with a grid inside of it. So a grid inside of this type of light is a little bit different. Um, it's more of like a honeycomb type of vibe. So when the light goes through it, it cuts and it's super, super sharp. Um, and it's more directional as well. And I also have the barn doors on there to make it even more directional. So between the honeycomb grid and the barn doors, the light is super directional. Um, so once Dulce comes back in, I'll kind of fine tune and put the light where it needs to be. Um, also, if you have one of these strobes, having a modeling light will also help. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a modeling light. So now you actually can direct and see where the light is. Um, so yeah, come on in. Oh yeah, that's going to look sick. No, just stay there, actually. Let's see what this looks like. I may have to turn down the intensity. Yeah, <laughs> super bright. <laughs> so let's put this down to 16th power and let's go to a seven. Let's go to an 11. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, let's actually go to a, let's go to a nine. I think a nine is perfect. Maybe do one, something like, yeah. Three, two, one more, three, two. Maybe one more, but open up so that way, open up your, your fingers, so then that way, so you can see the eye. So bring it in front, but open up this part, boom, like that. Three, two. Three, two, actually put your whole head up a little bit like, yeah, like that. Three, two, and three, two. That's fire. <gasps> that is so dope. And that was a good call with the jewelry. That's fire. <laughs>
to setup number three. How do you think everything's going so far? It's going amazing. We can't wait to show you guys the fire pictures we did. Everything's looking pretty, pretty dope. Um, so yeah, we're gonna switch it up. I'm trying something a little different, something I haven't done before. We're gonna use some Mylar paper. Um, this is my first time, or second time using it, so uh, we'll see what this looks like. I'm trying to reflect it basically back onto her. We're trying out something. We'll see what it looks like. That's a wrap on today's shoot. Bolton, how do you think it went? It went amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see what he created. It was so much fun. He is the best photographer. I'm not only saying that because he's my man, he is. Man, you see, you gotta get you one that's loyal, you know? But I'm trying, I'm trying. But like I said, we got really creative today. We tried out some new things. Uh, we shot with Mylar. It was only my second time shooting with it. It's a weird thing to shoot with, but it was fun. We got some dope, dope looks, some dope, dope photos. Um, but it feels so good to be back on YouTube and shooting this type of stuff. But I want to know what you guys want to see from the channel next. So make sure you guys drop a comment down below. I'll respond to everyone that I can. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel too. So we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.